Hey there, today I got in another game against Evan and his mutant-filled Avengers roster versus my Cabal and Brotherhood team-up. My name is Nate, and welcome to the Gamers Guild. So for today's battle report, Evan and I brought the very first affiliations in our rosters that also happen to be packed full with all of the latest releases because there is a fair bit of overlap with the idea to show off some of the old and the new. But then the crisis card setup that we chose was too good to pass up for Mystique's Brotherhood leadership ability. We ended up actually playing the starter book scenario of Cosmic Cubes for the Extract and Extremist consoles for our secure objective. Evan won priority and had no choice but to choose 17 Threat for the game, and here's what he brought from his roster. Hello again, and uh, thanks again to Nate for having me on. I'm excited for, uh, for another game. So in today's game, I brought the Avengers, I have brought uh, Captain America, of course, and then I wanted to try out some of the X-Men and their alternate affiliations, so I brought Beast and Wolverine. Um, I also brought Cyclops, and then rounding out the team, I brought Black Widow. Um, I brought for my Tactics Cards Med Pack, Advanced R&D, Disarm, Exceptional Healing, and Field Dressing. So going in, I, I, don't, I don't really have a good plan for why I chose Struggle for the Cube. Um, I just, it was one of the, the, the card that I really wanted I didn't draw. So it is how it is, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes from there. Um, I think that I'm kind of excited to do this classic matchup of the, the Crisis. I haven't played this one since the game first came out. so. Um, it'll be kind of exciting. I am a little worried about Mystique and her leadership ability with being able to hold onto that back point. But uh, I have a few movement shenanigans, so maybe I'll be able to sneak over there and take that one myself. So excited for the game, and we'll see how it goes. So while Evan did decide to run the Avengers, he had a fair choice at either affiliation with his team. But I definitely understand the appeal of going with Cap's leadership ability over Cyclops's in this scenario. Meanwhile, my roster consists of Mystique, Sabretooth, and Toad as the aspects of the Brotherhood, along with Wasp and Corvus with the Reality Gem, mostly because I think both parts of Mystique's leadership will shine since there are multiple cubes to pick up, as well as the spread out objectives with the Secure. The tactic cards I brought alongside this team include Deception, Asteroid M, No Matter the Cost, Med Pack, and Field Dressing. Giving the board a quick overview before we get into the game though, all of the bushes, sentinel hand, and shoulder pad are size 1, the dumpsters, cars, and sentinel arm will all be size 2, the sentinel leg sections and the market stalls will be size 3, with the sentinel body being a size 4. And with that, let's get into deployment and the game. Alright, so for deployment, uh, I have Corvus Glaive facing the wrong way in the middle, but otherwise Toad and Sabretooth are on the right flank. Wasp is also in the middle, and then Mystique is over here on the far left, having a stealth off with Black Widow. Cyclops, Wolverine, Captain America, kind of taking up that side. Then all the way over here we have a lonely beast reading a book, who's about to have a very bad day. And with that, we will go into round number one. Alright, beginning of round one, obviously we'll power up, and then after that, Evan, you have priority. Where are we going first? Alright, I'm going to start with Wolverine, and he's just going to double move and grab that middle cube. Absolutely. So once, and I'm going to stay as far back as possible, so we'll go right to the edge. It's going to power and pick up that cube. Very good. And that's it for him. All right, if Wolverine is going to take that middle objective, I have to have Toad also do a double move. Uh, just to get within range two of your cube, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Take that away All right. from you, sir. And Toad will then get that power back because of Mystique's leadership ability. So he is uh, set and done. All right, next up I'm gonna go with Beast. Uh, and I'm gonna maybe make Toad pay for moving up. So we're gonna move and move again so that I'm contesting this point. And then I'm going to spend a power from Beast uh, because of the 
Captain America discount, I can do Baser Instincts, which is going to be a uh, throw short. Absolutely. So I'm just going to throw him... Oh, let's just throw him so he kind of collides right there, I guess. Yep, as far away as possible. Still takes damage. Yep. Unfortunately, Slippery has to be triggered off of an attack, so I'm not going to be able to run away, and Toad is just a little bit hurt. <laughs> All right, that's it for these. All right, so I'm going to go with Sabretooth. He's not really able to help Toad out in any way, but we will move up to here, staying within range one. We'll spend a power to pick up the Cosmic Cube. Gets that power back. And then, very much like Evan, we just want to get within range one of this objective. So I'll throw Sabretooth over here. And that will be his activation. Okay, I'm gonna go with Cap next. He's going to move just within range one here, so yeah. And hopefully it gets me Okay, that'll be good for later. And now I'm going to throw my shield at Toad. Absolutely. So that's gonna ignore the cover that he would normally get. And we got four dice physical. Uh, uh, got a crit. Got a crit. Uh, so three full successes. Mm -hmm. Toad blocks one of it, so he's gonna take two. Uh, this is really bad news for Toad, which means he's probably going to just die at the beginning of next round. Uh, no, he'll he'll be alive on one, so that's kind of good. Well, uh, with the two power you just gave him, he's going to slippery away. Okay. Uh, so that will allow Toad to get a free medium movement. As he kind of uh, helps. Oops. Oh, yeah. Not mine. We're just gonna yeah. get a little bit further away. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm guessing that's all Cap is gonna do. Yep, that's it for Cap. All right, I think I'm going to go with Backward Corvus here. He's going to go ahead and make the full list of advances, get within range one of the objective here, and I'm going to use Mystique's leadership ability to interact. I don't get a power back on this one because you have to specifically interact with an extract to be able to get that power back. So we're going to do that and claim this for the Brotherhood. And then Corvus' second action is going to be another medium move. And then he will spend his other power, because he has the Reality Gem. He'll get that power back, but he's going to pick up the Extremis. Not Extremis. The Cosmic Cube. And that will be Corvus done. All right. I will go with Widow next, and she's just going to move up the side here and take that point. So go there, and then she's got... All the movement world to get within one. So I'll just kind of go right there. Absolutely. And that is it for Black Widow. All right, Mystique is going to do much the same. We're just going to double long move, get within range one of the objective, and uh, be done. All right, last up for me is Cyclops, and he's just going to forward here pick up the cube and then he's gonna do uh, an optic blast on Corvus assuming he's in range which it looks like he is absolutely all right so that's a uh, five dice physical attack or yep. sorry energy attack Corvus has his three energy defense okay. um, pretty good roll yeah, not bad four and I got a wild cool got a three I block one, so he will take two ultimately because of his damage reduction capabilities. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I got to push him away short, so we're going to go back this way. Absolutely. All right, that is it for Cyclops. All right, so with a little bit of pre-measuring done, we're going to go with Wasp. She's going to spend one to transform into her itty bitty tiny form. And then itty bitty tiny form gets to move along. So we're going to begin to book it over here and join Sabretooth. Just wanting to stay within range one of the objective. 
Yeah, she's got plenty of movement. Did you know Wong is a ways? Yeah. And uh, with that, we will end round number one. All right, because of cubes and me holding two of the different extremist consoles, I'm going to score five. Evan, meanwhile, has two cubes and holds solely the back point. So that will make the first round go to the Brotherhood, five, two, three. And let's just hope we keep it up in round two. All right, start round two. I'm gonna have Wolverine go, and he is going to spend two power for best at what I do, which is hopefully hunting toads. Yeah, I prefer not, but and I don't think toad has much say in this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go right in there. Absolutely. And so this is gonna be a five dice physical attack. Wilds count is two. Uh, of which I did not. Oh, I did get one. You got so. one, so four successes. Mm -hmm. Toad needs crits or he's dead. Toad's got crits. Wow. Uh, Toad's still dead. <laughs> he, he put up an almost valiant effort. He did. All right, so Toad will drop his cosmic cube where you see fit, and he okay. will be dazed. Well, I'll just spend the power that I just got to pick it up. Yep. So Wolverine now has two. Uh, so Wolverine still has an action. Um... I think I'll have him. Um, I'll have him come over here and back up Beast. All right. So he's just gonna move right about there. And then at the end of his turn, totally puts him within one as well. Perfect. Uh, yeah, at the end of his turn, his healing factor is gonna kick in, so he'll heal the damage he took from the cube, and that's gonna be it. All right. All right, so I am oddly enough going to go with little old Wasp over here, and we're going to start with a Stinker Blast into Beast. So it's a five dice energy attack. Uh, that does not do anything great. So two successes, but thankfully right. Evan's only on two dice. Yep, there we go. Uh, Aha, two damage. So Wasp will get two power, and I have some thinking to do. All right, so the math wasn't perfect, and I really wish I had dealt a little bit more damage there, but beggars and choosers and all that stuff. So Wasp is going to try it again. Five die Stinger Blast. Uh, maybe a little bit better? No. Just two successes. All right. Just two again. Uh, blocking so one. So only one getting through. Yeah, and I could reroll the power. I don't think I will, though. I think I'll just... Take it. Right, so Beast takes one more, mm -hmm. putting Wasp up to four power. Uh, really would have liked to have seen more damage get through because he still has three health left. And I don't think my original play may fully be worth the risk, but I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to spend one to size change. And we're going to stay within one of that console, but just get a little bit bigger. And then we're going to spend her remaining three to throw the Daily Bugle into Beast and hope that Evan rolls atrociously. All right, so I got four for my dodge roll. Yep. Uh, uh, of course you roll two crits. Uh, so you block three of the incoming four, so Beast only takes one damage. All right, sounds good. And that will be Wasp's slightly less than successful activation. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna have Beast retaliate here. So before I do that, I'm gonna spend two power for a med pack, uh, so I can remove three damage from Beast, which I'll do. And then I'm gonna have him spend his last uh, remaining power to do his throw again. And we're just gonna throw a Wasp, um, so that she just kind of clips this. Absolutely. Plant here, so maybe something like that. Cool. She will take a damage. All right, and this is destroyed, right? Yes. Okay, and then I will go ahead and do his uh, acrobatic strike into Wasp. Cool. So. Uh, she will go ahead and respond, spending one to become a little bit harder to hit. Oh, yes. Okay, and... 
So that's gonna be five dice. Yep. Uh, of course. Wow. That's a okay. full five. Yeah. Wish I could roll dice like that. <laughs> uh, Watts blocking two, gets the reroll because she's small, blocks three. So she's still gonna take two damage. Okay. Um, two out of? Uh, five. Okay, so, so three she's, out of five. Okay. Yep, two health remaining. All right, well, let's just do it again then. Cool. Four. Yeah, okay, same thing. Here we go. Mm. Two, stay two, stays two. Yeah. Boss, you got a chance. Got a crit. Into a skull. Get the reroll. Uh, so she'll take one more. Okay. And just be barely alive. All right. Um, I guess that is it for Beast. Okay. All right. So before I activate anybody, Mystique is going to play Deception. And since Cyclops is outside of range two, uh, he thinks he just randomly sees Jean Grey over here. So he's going to advance himself medium across the battlefield. And then Corvus will activate, laying in wait. And we're going to spend four for a death blow. So we're going to go seven dice physical into Cyclops's four. Okay, I actually think I might spend one for quick draw. Ooh, might absolutely. Well. So I get five dice then. Yep. And hope I don't regret this. Man, oh. Corvus, you are... Okay. Uh, one of the skulls gets to be a crit, but it ends up just being two successes. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. So Corvus is going to take another two points of damage. Yep. He'll get two power at least, uh, and get a free medium advance as we uh, move up the board after taking a walloping of damage. Uh, and... I guess we spin three, and we'll try to uh, get a Glaive's Edge strike in, so five dice. Okay. Uh, getting to count my blanks this time, so there's only one side of the dice that doesn't count as a success. Still managed to get one. <laughs> uh, so we got a grand total of five successes, no pierce. Okay. Uh, black and none, so taking five. Yep. Right. Cyclops takes five. Corvus will gain five power. We'll spend two of it to play med pack on himself. <sighs> oh, that actually dazes Cyclops because he has a cube. Oh, that is really nice. So there's the cube. And dazed. Cool. Well, in that case, uh, he'll spend one and pick up that cube. And that will be Corvus done. All right. Well, losing Cyclops and specifically his field leader ability kind of changes my plans. So I think I'm going to go with Cap. And he's going to go try to make sure Widow doesn't get beat up by Mystique over here. So he's going to just double move and just get within range one here. And that's all he can do. That is cap done. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go with Mystique. And I've been debating whether or not I'm going to shoot Black Widow or Cap. And I think the right choice here is to go after Cap because Mystique is uniquely equipped to deal damage to him because he can't raise his mighty shield. So that's we're going to do a pistol attack into him. So four dice physical. Uh, got a whole wild. All right. Of course. Wow. Uh, well, she gains a power. Unfortunately, did not roll a hit, so will not get to get the rapid fire off. Uh, she is going to go ahead and spend one to interact with the extremist console. Corvus is within range two of it to heal him one. And then... Uh, because that first pistol attack was just so darn successful, we're going to do it again into Cap. All right. All right. You'd think he'd be able to see through a deception this time, and he has a shield, but... Yeah, well, uh, she, she only rolled one hit, so... Okay. I won't complain too yep, much. You're, you're still fine. 
she actually did roll a hit this time, which is important because she does get the rapid fire, though. Uh -huh. So we'll do it again. And hey, three whole successes. All right. Well, I'm like you now, Evan. Yeah. Ah, look at that. All right, so that's going to be two, two hits. whole damage getting in on Cap. And that'll be Mystique and her activation over. All right, so last up for me is Black Widow. Um, I'm going to have her probably run away. Before she does, though, I want to spend a power to interact with that extremist console and heal a damage from Cap. Absolutely. And then she's just going to go her long move here. And go twice and get that pesky token off of that back point. Absolutely. And that's going to be it for her. Seems pretty good. Yeah. It's Sabretooth and Wolverine, or Wolverine and Sabretooth. Hopefully, Sabretooth comes out on top. We're going to start with a Claw Slash into his old buddy. Uh, rolling about as well as I have been, so two whole successes. All right. Four dice. Yep. All right. So nothing gained there, unfortunately. To say that went terribly seems like an understatement. So we're going to try a Claw Slash at the Beast, because I don't think I can put enough into Logan that will matter before he just gets to healing factor, since Evan's going to have priority. So with that, we're going to throw uh, five dice into Beast and hope to do a little bit better. Uh, did get a wild, so we'll get the Bleed and Pierce, but two whole successes. Okay. Uh, no, um, nothing, nothing on yours, I think so... I'm going to... Let's see, you had three. Uh, I had two. You had two. Okay, I'll and take it. And a pierce. Yeah. I'll, okay, I'll take it. Yep. So, Sabretooth will gain two whole power. He'll spend one of that to heal Waspwan by interacting with the console. And then at the end of his activation, his healing factor is going to kick in. And he will heal himself one. And that is uh, the round over. All right, so I'm scoring three because I was able to hold three of the different cubes. So I'm gonna go up to eight. Evan, on the other hand, uh, does have Black Widow scoring a point in the back along with a couple of cubes himself. So he also gets three. So staying the same distance apart as we go into round number three. Okay, so start around three. It's pretty hard to pass up a, a nice beam attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend four power off of Cyclops to do his optic devastation and Absolutely. get both of those two. So let's start off with Corvus, and this is a seven dice energy attack. Yep. Need you to roll like I've been rolling real quick. All right, I gotta get one more die out here. Okay. No, of course no. not. That's beautiful. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six successes. Uh, Corvus gets a crit into nothing. So he blocks three of the six, takes three, which is unfortunately just enough to daze him. So he will drop two cubes. Okay, and I did get a wild, so he'll lose a power. Uh, is that before damage is dealt? Nope, it's after, so never mind. So he will be dazed beforehand. Yep. Okay, I will put these... I guess... Here. Yep. And then uh, the attack on a Mystique. Absolutely. Hopefully Mystique's got a little bit more luck on both our hard dice roll sides. Maybe. Maybe. All right, Maybe. three successes. Good for the wild. Uh, all right, Mystique. Wow, well, blocks all three. Blocks three. She will lose a power, though, because you got a wild. Yep. Um, all right, then I think from there... Mm, I'm going to uh, go ahead and pick up both the cubes. Makes yeah. sense. I'll pick them both up, so that's two power. And then I think I'm just going to have him go contest the point. I could go for a follow-up attack, but I feel like the guaranteed point's a better place, so we'll do that. 
And that's Cyclops. Okay. All right. So last time this failed miserably. So this time we're going to, no matter the cost, a savage predator attack into Wolverine. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to spend three power for no mercy, since Wolverine's already taken two damage from the Cosmic Cubes. So for a total of nine dice with this Savage Predator, really hoping I don't whiff like I did last time. That, uh, you know, at first glance it kind of seemed good, but then it really didn't. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to reroll a failure as from the crit. Cool. Uh, four total successes. Okay. All right, Wolverine. Good crits. Taken two. So just two. Unfortunately, okay. despite 11 dice being rolled, not a single wild. Uh, so I do not get the finisher attack there. Uh, and I guess we just have to go with a, a normal claw slash to try to uh, get done what it seems to be an impossible task. Uh, two successes, one of them is at least a wild. Okay. Uh, black and zero, taking two. Hmm. Okay. I will take the two, so he's at six out of seven. Cool. Wolverine lives, AKA. Uh, on the bright side, Sabretooth will get a couple power from that. He will spend one to heal Wasp again by interacting, and then at the end of his activation, his own healing factor will kick in and heal himself for one. Okay, I'm going to go with Wolverine next, and as tempted as I am to go at Sabretooth, Nate kindly reminded me that Sabretooth can attack back, which would not be good for me, so I am just going to go with a Berserker Barrage into Wasp. Um, so that's going to cost three power, yep. and that's a seven dice physical attack. So here we go. Uh, got one crit. Hey, four successes. Four. All right. Uh, Wasp gets to reroll because she's tiny. Uh, into blocking one, so takes three. Okay. Uh, which is enough to daze her. Okay. In that case, then, I think I will just go ahead and use Wolverine's second action to shake this bleed off. And then uh, I'm going to... What's the timing on healing factor and bleed? Uh, you get to choose get what to you choose. do first. Okay. Well, then in that case, I will spend a power to interact with the console and heal one off of Beast. Cool. And then Wolverine's turn is going to be over. Oh, I took bleed off anyway, so I guess it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, so you just but heal too. good to know for future games. So uh, then, yeah, healing factor will kick in, and I'll heal Wolverine back to four damage. And that's it. All right, going to go with Mystique, and we're just going to start putting some pistol fire into Captain America. If I'm able to daze him on the longest of shots, because Cyclops, yeah, that seems right. One hit. Hey, it gets box. through! Yep. One damage! Uh, I get a power, and I did manage to get the hit as my one success, so we'll rapid fire uh, into two hits this time. Uh, one, take one. one more gets through. Alright, he's on three out of five. Three out of five, you say? Mm -hmm. uh, I need to do some thinking. Alright. Lots of thinking. Evan will attest to it. Uh, I'm going to do another pistol attack into Captain America. I could get the guaranteed days by blowing up the shrubbery, but I want to have a little bit of power on her. And man. I'll probably do it. Oh, need to. Uh, three successes. All right. Well, Cap, I guess, still hasn't figured out that this isn't Bucky that's shooting at him. Yep. Uh, blocks blocking three. three. Oh no, Maybe I did not get out. the hit, so I do not get another attack. And that will be Mystique's activation, unfortunately, over. All right, I'm going to go with Beast next, and he is going to get just within range two of Toad here. So, yeah. And he's going to spend four power for an animalistic freestyle. Oh boy. So that's gonna be six dice. And what happens on a wild? Uh, wild, I get to push you away short, or... Yeah, short. Cool. 
Yikes. All right, so we got three, three successes. successes. And I did get a skull, so I got a power for that. Well, this is enough to daze Toad outright. Uh, he blocks one, so Toad lives by the skin of his teeth. Okay. Uh, so now I have to make a decision because... I was supposed to say, before you make any decisions, okay. Toad is going to spend that two power you just generously gave him and run away. Okay. Because I am, if nothing else, slippery. So, and also, kind of the same timing window, I guess, after the attack is resolved, I can move a medium. Oh, yes, you so, can. So I guess you, you would have to resolve your medium move yes. first. Yes, okay, so that's... Because I could also... Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So I'll move back to the point. Cool. So with that in mind, Toad will still move his medium in that direction. All right. That's it for Beast. Toad lives. All right, well, it's a good thing that Toad lived because Toad is still going to be able to do things and stuff. So first things first, Toad is going to spend two of his six power to hop, placing himself uh, definitely within range one of that console. Uh, so Toad is then going to interact with it to heal himself one, because why not? And then additionally, uh, you know what, no, we're not going to do that, just in case. Toad's going to keep that one damage on. Uh, we will spend a power though to interact with it to claim it for the Brotherhood using Mystique's leadership ability. Make sure I can do that. Yes, nothing about healthy and injured. I'm just gonna back it everything just a little bit, concise it all down. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a good thing that Toad didn't get dazed because I need him. Uh, I'm gonna start by spending two power and to use his hop just to get him within range one. He's going to spend another power to claim it for the Brotherhood so that he can then spend two power along with Mystique spending two power to use Asteroid M, and he's going to be placed within range one of Mystique all the way over here. Just like that, magic. Uh, so he still actually has two actions left at this point, so we're going to start by giving t Captain America a tongue lashing with a... Uh, Four physical dice. All right, well, I guess I'll go ahead and spend a power for Vibranium Shield, because I can do that now. Might as well. Uh, two rolls, okay. No, not really. Just uh, two hits. Okay. Well. That is enough. Okay. So that, yeah, that days is cap. Uh, Toad will get two power for it, as a matter of fact. Uh, did not get a wild, but it doesn't end up mattering here. Uh, Toad's second action, since he actually still has that, is going to spend two to spit acid uh, onto Cyclops. So this is going to be a five dice incinerate attack. Okay. Right. Uh, just three hits. Okay. That's physical, right? Uh, energy. Oh, it is energy. Okay. Blocking one, taking two, two, and the incinerate condition. And the incinerate special condition. All right, so Toad's activation is almost over, but I had a late stroke of genius. Mystique is going to spend four to play field dressing on Decorvus, making him a little bit more lively. And then Toad is going to spend his last power to use the extremist console to interact so that Corvus has two whole life and maybe gets an activation unless Black Widow has something to say about it. Okay, well, if we're going to get tactics cards involved, I guess I'll get mine out too. So I'm going to use advanced R&D from Beast, spend a power. I'm going to give, I'll spend at least one to give one to Cyclops. Um, I think, I think that's probably all I'll do. Cool. And then... Uh, Cyclops is going to spend four for field dressing, and we're going to field dressing Cap, who's going to go up to uh, four damage, and yep. then I'm going to activate Cap. Absolutely. So Cap will do a shield slam. Shield slam. Yep. And just making sure that that's uh, okay. Yep. 
So I'll spend two power for that, and that's going to be six dice physical. Yep, yep. Uh, three, it looks like. Did I roll too many? Yep. Dice? Okay, I'm good. Three. Three successes. Corvus got a crit. Mm -hmm. Actually, two crits. Yay, reality gym paying off. He blocks it all. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but I'm going to throw him into that car. Absolutely. So scoot him back. Yep, he takes one point of damage from that. All right, and then I guess I better just guarantee it and do that again. So I will spend two more for another shield slam. Absolutely. And that's going to be six times. Quite a bit better. Yeah. Yep. So four. Okay. Uh, blocks two. Not enough. Corvus uh, gets knocked back down. Yeah, and then at the end of Cap's turn, he's going to. Um, is, to is he? He's within range of the thing, right? Sorry to tell us. Yeah. Okay, so he'll spend a power to heal himself one. Cool. And that's gonna be Cap done. All right, and then it is over to Black Widow. Uh, I guess she'll, hmm. I think she'll just stay there. Okay. And that is the end of round number three. All right. So Evan had an excellent round holding four of those cosmic cubes that will hopefully get to bite him in the butt a little bit here, uh, getting him up to uh, 10 after also uh, having Black Widow, Hold that point, and then the double hold over here, getting him all the way to 12. Uh, well, I will just score a measly two, one for Sabretooth, and one for the back point Toad held down with the leadership ability. And we go into round number four. Hello there. I come to you from the future after editing the video, and I have found a mistake that is about to happen, and after messaging Evan about it after the fact, we aren't really sure how it happened. At the beginning of the turn, all of the characters will take a damage from each cosmic cube they are holding. For some reason, Wolverine was marked at 5 instead of 4 where he should have been. This will result in a dazed Wolverine at the beginning of the turn instead of a Wolverine left on 1 health. So yes, I ended up catching the mistake, but only when going through the editing process. No spoilers, so watch the rest of the game, and you can hear my thoughts about this in the battle report so some power phase. Uh, Wolverine takes two damage from the cubes. Everybody else is taking their normal allotment of damage and stuff. Uh, but unfortunately for Wolverine, that means he's going to get dazed. Unfortunately for Wolverine, he doesn't know how to count, apparently. <laughs> yep, uh, which is going to drop two cosmic cube tokens. Uh, and they're going to just be a little bit away from Beast. Beast, unfortunately, really good at picking things up and being mobile and stuff, so that'll be a problem for later, Nate. But uh, for now, those are going to land right there, and then we will go into round number four with me having priority. All right, so because I finally have priority, I'm going to go with Corvus first, and we're going to do a Glaive's Edge strike into Cyclops. I am expecting some uh, responses, though. Yes, I will s absolutely spend a power to bodyguard that. Um, I'm not sure that I'll do vibranium. Eh. It's five dice, counting blanks. Um, I, I'm not going to. Cool. Five dice, counting blanks. It kills five successes. All right. Oh, my goodness, don't you do it. I did not. Almost. Blocking three, taking two, which is just enough. Just enough. Corvus will get two power back. Uh, and then we will do three power for another Glaive's Edge, and then we're going to do four power for Death Blow into Cyclops. Uh, so this will be seven dice, counting blanks, all the good stuff, hopefully. Uh, man, I roll three of the thing that I can't, uh, count as a success. So I still get five. Okay. With no wild, unfortunately. Oh. Blocks two blocks takes two. three. That's enough. 
So he's gonna drop these cubes. Because of some previous damage. And actually, I rolled too many dice anyway, because he's oh. incinerated. But Oh, yes. So. Also true. Uh, it doesn't change my roll. Yep. Corvus will spend his last two remaining power to pick up the two cosmic cubes. And that will be his act. Oh, I guess he gets to move as well. We will just move within range one of the objective. The other side. Get away from Black Widow just in case she gets feisty. And that will be Corvus done. All right. Well, since that whole side of the board is erased for me, I guess I'll come over here to my left side and go with Beast. And he's going to do an acrobatic strike and a saber tooth. So that's going to be five dice physical. Absolutely. And not two. Yeah. Right. Just so four, four successes on a yep. five dice. And a skull for a power. Uh, saber tooth blocks none of it. So that is saber tooth down because you got at least three, right? Uh, yep. Cool. That is saber tooth uh, dazed, and he will drop. A cosmic cube wherever you see fit. Okay. Um, I guess. I guess I'll pick it up. Cool. And then. Hmm. Then I might have to think for a second about what he's going to do next. All right. So with that power that I just gained, I'm going to spend four uh, to do an animalistic freestyle into wasp. So that's going to be six dice physical. Please roll bad. Average, average. All right, so three. Three, Wasp gets her rerolls because she is tiny. And by golly, does she need them. Uh, blocks two of it, so she'll take one. Okay. Um, then, didn't get the wild, unfortunately. I don't believe. Uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll use his, his move to go get those. Absolutely. Might as well. Yeah, two is greater than one, I guess, so. Pick those up. Yep. And he's got three cubes, so he's gonna be hurting. Yep, but with those three cubes and Black Widow, you very well may win the game. All right, well, that's it for Beast. All right, time for Wasp to shine. Uh, she's going to spend two for her Fury, AKA Wasp's Fury. Uh, range three, definitely Beast is within that. So we're going to do six dice energy into Beast uh, with just two successes. All right. I do. Block two, unfortunately. So uh, with that, Wasp gets to move medium. Uh, she will then also transform automatically within range one. So we'll put her right there. And then she will spend three to throw this size three terrain feature at Beast. Okay. Dodging. None of it. So that's four damage. I'm gonna spend the power. Yep. My only power to reroll one of these. So. Absolutely. Blocks it. So alive on one. Yep. Okay. And now I've got some thinking to do. Because the first size change Wasp did was granted to her by her Wasp's Fury attack, I'm going to spend one to do a size change again to right there. And then we're going to spend two leaving Wasp on one power for another six dice attack that surely will deal one damage to somebody who rolls two defense dice. Uh, and this time it looks like maybe actually so. Uh, five successes. Okay, well, this is impossible, but let's do it for fun. Because it was still a pretty good roll. Still a pretty good roll. Right. So, Beast takes one, uh, and we will come back with how I distribute the different cosmic cubes because this is going to be important. Okay, so I ended up spreading these out so that Black Widow can't swing over and just pick them all up with super ease uh, to try to deny Evan all of the points he needs. Uh, but all of them are indeed within range to move. Well, this one apparently got knocked. Just kidding. Uh, 
But then Wasp gets to do her medium movement for free, which will be all the way over there. And then she gets to size change within range one of herself. And we are just going to basically get it so that we're within range one of the Cosmic Cube. Spend that last power she has to pick up said cube. And that is Wasp's activation. Okay, so I think with the board the way that it is now, there's basically no way I can stop Nate from getting six unless I get this longest of long shots that we figured out. So Black Widow is going to move up. I've got to... I've got to daze Mystique and get a while to move on to the point. So I'm within range two. I spend two power for mixed technique, which is going to be four dice. So in other words, I need a, a crit or two. Get, get a couple crits. Along with the wild so that I can move. So let's see what we get. Well, you we got, got the crit part. Crit, but I well, didn't get the wild, so it's not going to matter. Three successes. Mystique gets to counter blank, so she blocks three. Okay. All right. And my cold dice have turned to hot yeah. as Evan's hot has slowly chilled. Uh, that is Black Widow done. Yep. All right. So with that, I do have two activations left, but I'm scoring currently exactly six points. Wasp uh, currently has the Extremist Console to herself and is holding a cube. Mystique's leadership ability is holding the back point. And then... It, Toad is and slash Mystique slash Corvus are holding that point for the fourth, and then Corvus is holding two of the Cosmic Cubes to go to a total of six. I'm currently at ten points, and Evan, uh, I don't believe is scoring any at this point because Black Widow has moved off in that yep. last chance play. Uh, so with that, I will finally end my losing streak to Evan. Uh, as we would have moved into round number five. Good game, man. That yeah, was uh, There were swingy dice there. Yeah, that was a good one. Well, that was an, another great game, so thanks again, Nate, for having me. Um, I'm glad these last couple we've had on video have been a little closer than the previous two because I feel like that's more indicative of our usual games. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest, biggest swing in that game for me was probably forgetting or not properly counting Wolverine's damage, losing him over there at the start of the turn uh, really kind of hurt my chances on that last round. Um, the round before, we had some kind of crazy swings at the, uh, I guess it would have been my right side with Corvus and, and Cap and Cyclops and all the field dressing and everything. That was a really interesting turn. It was pretty pretty fun to see how that one played out. And I was feeling pretty good at that point, but then, uh, then the next round happened. So yeah, I mean, Overall, I, I, I like that list. I, I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to use Cyclops's uh, field leader ability at the discount. I feel like that could be a really good thing to use, but it just didn't work out for me this time. But I do really like both Beast and Wolverine in Avengers. I, I think especially Beast, the one power throw um, seems pretty good. So um, yeah, I guess that's, that's about all I have to say about it. So Thanks again, and looking forward to the next one. All right, so first of all, this was such a great game, even if we have to put an asterisk on the ending of my losing streak to Evan. The dice were kind to us both at times, and downright cruel at other times, but at least they seem to have balanced out between us this go-around. As far as that final turn goes, I think I still had a very strong chance at winning the game, even if Wolverine didn't start the turn off dazed, because he only would have had one health remaining. After talking about it some with Evan, I think this is how it would have played out. I would have gone with Sabretooth first, he would have done his strike and he had four power so he could have used No Mercy to make it an eight die strike onto Wolverine, or just another Savage Predator attack, which hopefully would have dazed Wolverine allowing him to pick up at least a cube and still have another attack or action left over. He then could interact with the Extremist console, healing himself by one, and then let Healing Factor bring him down to five stamina remaining again. Evan would then get a chance to go on the other side of the board before Corvus, but since Mystique and Corvus were at full health, and Cyclops only had enough power to do one beam attack, this would result in probably a dead Toad, and more than likely a beat up Corvus or Mystique, and then a disarm tactic card being played on Corvus. And the game would go on from there, with Wasp having a strong chance to daze Beast, or Mystique could finally blow up that bush to finish off Captain America, and maybe even Cyclops as well since he only had two stamina left after the cubes and Toad's previous attack that left him incinerated. So this one does have to end with an asterisk, but after my last few games against Evan, I'll have to take it. 
I want to give a big shout out to Rob from 3D Game Shop for some of the acrylic tokens that you should have seen in today's battle report. One of the things that I've always found dangerous about getting a certain line of tokens for a game that is constantly getting more tokens is that fear of whoever makes these specialized tokens will stop and then everything won't match up later down the road. Rob has done a great job at keeping up with the crazy release schedule of Marvel Crisis Protocol and has covered all of the universal status effects up to Hex and Incinerate, which are the last two to be added into the game, in addition to the usual slew of damage, power, and dace tokens that you would normally expect. As well, he has opaque tokens and transparent ones. Personally, I'm a fan of the transparent ones. I mean, come on, these things just look really awesome. So all of that said, if you've been looking for some really nice tokens for this game and need to add something to the Christmas list since AMG is giving us a break for the month of December, you can find 3D Game Shop's Etsy store page as a link down in the description of this video. And while I am thanking people, I must of course thank the generous members of the Guild Hall who have been supporting this channel through Patreon. If you are interested in supporting the channel directly as well, there is also a link to the Guild Hall down in the description. If you have any questions about the game, our rosters, or anything else MCP related, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a question at the email down in the description. And as always, thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep on gaming.